Banished from Earth Classic Game Room broadcasts from the Intergalactic Space Arcade on its never-ending mission to review everything. Welcome to a special classic game room because today I'm looking at a Sega computer. This is like a Sega game system with a built-in keyboard that works with a printer. Allow me to introduce the Sega SC3000. I was contemplating attaching a warning to the beginning of this video for Sega fanboys and fangirls. This review may cause extreme convulsions of joy and possible huge expenditures of money. You've been forewarned. Prepare to enjoy the review of the Sega SC3000 computer. Now, fortunately, you can do most of what this does with the more affordable Sega SG1000 and Mark II, but come on, look at this thing. It's a frickin' Sega computer! How cool is this? I want one! I wanna surf the internet on my Sega computer. I wanna edit my videos on a Sega computer. I wanna play a game of global thermonuclear war on a Sega computer. I want a wood-grained Sega Dreamcast. I want a lot of things. But more than anything, I think I just want to see a Sega printer hook up to the Sega SC3000 computer. This reminds me a lot of one of the Atari computers, like the Atari 800 XL or the XEGS. It's basically a Sega SG1000 with a keyboard built into it, which automatically makes it cool. And it plays this incredible stack of games brought to the show by David, who's in the Air Force. David is currently stationed in Hawaii. Before moving on to Germany, he spent some time in his hometown in Pittsburgh, took the covered space bridge to the Intergalactic Space Arcade, and allowed me to personally film his collection. Thank you, David. This stuff is really nice. The Sega SC3000 personal computer was released in 1983, and I believe it is Sega's one and only home computer, which is a shame. If only the internet was run by Sega computers. It would be really fast. Like Sonic! That was terrible. I'll definitely cut that out in editing. Like the Vectrex, you plug games into the right side of it. It will also play Sega My Cards using the Card Catcher. Which means there's a load of great games that you can play on the Sega SC3000. But is Typing of the Dead one of them? Probably not. According to SegaRetro.org, where I'm pulling a lot of the technical info from here, you can use this in conjunction with a Sega Data Recorder SR1000, which is a cassette tape peripheral, and what could be the coolest thing ever created, the Sega Super Control Station SF7000, which plays floppy disks. Mind blown. But since we didn't have those things, I'm going to spend most of this review just playing some great Sega games. Let's start off with one of my favorite games that I previously reviewed on the Famicom. Now I shall play Exarian on the Sega SC3000. See how it compares. Now, I'm not the computer expert around here, but when this was released in 1983, it would have competed directly against the Nintendo family computer and the MSX. And since it was the last Sega computer made, one can assume it didn't do very well. It does, however, play games really well. As you can see, this has a great video output and works with all of the Sega SG-1000 controllers. While this isn't as smooth as the Famicom, the Sega SG-1000 and the SC-3000 just have a unique sound that's really good. It's not as smooth as the NES, as the uh, Famicom version, but the sound is better. Of course, the sound on the Famicom one was, was good too, but this is definitely like a special sound. The SG-1000 or the SC-3000 definitely pumps out some good sound. Yeah, I love the 
the music on this thing. After you've invested in the Sega SG-1000, Sega SC-3000, or the Mark III, the games themselves aren't terribly expensive or all that hard to find online on eBay. Here's a look at Sega's Zaxxon, which is bright, colorful, it sounds amazing. Let's use my jetpack. It's an okay version of Zaxxon, but this is a spectacular version of Activision's Hero. This is a good version of Hero. As I understand it, in many parts of the world, the Sega SC-3000 outsold the Sega SG-1000, and you know why that is. Because everyone loves a keyboard built into things. He just, he just hooked up with her. That's pretty exciting. The question is, should you take the SC-3000 plunge? Not unless you're a serious collector. If you want to play the SG-1000 games, which are great, I would hunt down the Sega SG-1000 Mark II, or preferably the Mark III. Try to buy one off somebody that doesn't know what they have, because the internet prices are all pretty absurd. This is basically like insert anime license here on top of shooter game. There's my lover! Oh. You know what that sound means. That means that someone just found a new Sega to fall in love with. The SC-3000 personal computer. It's like a typewriter. Thing's fast. Of course it's fast. It has 2 kilobytes of RAM, 16 kilobytes of VRAM, and 32 kilobytes of ROM, but infinite kilobytes of awesome. Because it's a Sega. Like the sneaky roof ninja, the Sega SC-3000 is tough to find. I wouldn't go out of your way to hunt one down, but if you happen to come across one, pick it up at once. It even has a brake key, but unlike Edit Station 1, the SC-3000's brake key isn't broken. And I've got a classic game room shout out and thank you to go all over the world for David, who's from Pittsburgh, stationed in Hawaii and moving to Germany. But just like Magnum P.I., David's pin will reside in Hawaii. It's the Sega SC 3000. Thank you for watching. Follow Classic Game Room on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and Patreon. If you liked this review, then you're going to love the review of the Sega Mark III. Watch it now. Welcome to the club. It's the Lord Carnage Club, where I give thanks to these backers on Patreon. Starting with Jeff, Jeff Captain Dauntless Breyer, Ohad Kane, Jack Stavris from Australia, Philip Michael Stiles of Ortona, Philip Strabenmuller of Vienna, Austria, Landon Ellerby. Justin Duran from Palm Desert, California. Steve Chucknick from New Jersey. Sean Zoltek. Rick DeBarros. Pimp Trex. Al Stiver. Chip Sankbell. Shadow Minion for Lord Carnage. Busy Signal. Jason from Kamloops, British Columbia. Will. Zach Brenner, Sergio Matthias Hergers, Jim Moriarty, Rob from Palmerston North, New Zealand, Kishore Ken, Soft Otaku. See you next time on Classic Game Room, Mark III.